Hi, it's Alaska Granny. $20 worth of food in an emergency bucket that could feed one person for 30 days? Yes, it's absolutely possible. It may not be the most flavorful, delicious, or variety of food that you've ever had, but it could certainly keep you alive and keep you well fed in an emergency situation. What can you put in a bucket for $20 that can feed you for a month? Start with beans and rice because yes, they're cheap, they're filling, and they're long-lasting foods. They can store in an airtight container for 30 years depending on the quality of the packaging that you use. You can go to the store and buy 20 pounds of rice and 8 pounds of beans. That's what I was able to get for about $20 here in Alaska. You can even have more variety than that if you go to the store and you pick them up one pound bags at a time in a variety of beans if you prefer. I've even found beans and rice in the Dollar Tree, two pounds of rice for one dollar and beans for a dollar a pound. They've always had a lot of varieties and nearly every time that I've been to a Dollar Tree, they always have some beans and rice in a bag for a dollar. How do you begin your $20 meal bucket? Well, it's great to start with a bucket. A lot of times you can go to the bakery and the grocery store and they'll give them away for free. But you need to be polite. I have a friend who works in a bakery and she told me people have started coming in and demanding free buckets and they continue to come back and be rude. And they even went to the manager and said they won't give us free buckets and we know you give them out. And so that store now has a policy that they no longer give out free buckets. You catch more flies with honey. Why would you want someone to do you a favor and be generous with you and be rude? If the answer is no, so be it. So guess what? You can always go to the hardware store, to Walmart, and you can find a bucket and a lid. It'll cost a few dollars, but it's important to have an airtight container. The better you store your food, the longer it lasts. There are several ways that you can store the food in the bucket. One of them is to just add the food into the bucket and put on the lid, and that'll last for several years. But the more airtight you store it, the better and longer it will last. If you have access to Mylar bags or oxygen absorbers or even food saver bags, those are going to help your food last up to 30 years. But if you don't have Mylar bags, oxygen absorbers, or food saver, you can still store the food away into the five gallon bucket and it's going to last for a long time. I recommend that you do not store the food into Ziploc bags because over time those degrade, they become sticky, and they can actually ruin all of your food. So either leave it in the original package until you can get some way to package it better, or you can even pour it straight into a bucket if you're only going to have the one ingredient. If you're going to store beans and rice, of course you're not going to pour them together. One pound of rice has 1600 calories. One pound of beans has 1600 calories. That's when they're dry before they're cooked. So I have 20 pounds of beans and 8 pounds of rice, which is equal to a little over 44,000 calories, which is equal to about 1500 calories a day for 30 days. Could you live on that for 30 days? Yes, it could keep you alive. Would you be happy with the variety of only rice and beans? Probably not, but it's a good way for $20 to have food on hand that you can survive if you need to. If you have other foods stored away, then you have variety. Your rice and beans will last longer because you can fill in with the other foods that you have. But right now, if your pantry is bare and you're worried about starting a prepper pantry, and having food for long term, start with a bucket of beans and rice for $20. You can also find a few spices to include in your five gallon bucket. You can find some spices at Walmart for 98 cents or at the Dollar Tree. The spices I'm including with my beans and rice are salt, pepper, minced onion, and garlic powder. So for about $20, you can have a bucket with some rice, some beans, some spices to jazz it up, Label and date your bucket so that you remember what's in it and how long it's been there. A bucket holds about 35 pounds of beans and rice, so these should fit in there nicely. Of course, they're going to fit in better if you have them poured into a Mylar bag than in their original container. Cactus aren't going to mold to the bucket exactly the same way they would if you added a giant Mylar bag and then poured in your product, but it's still going to be a great way to save up the food for long term. If you don't have a lot of money and you're worried about the future, 
get some rice and beans, some basic long-term food storage, but also buy some pantry foods. Open and eat package and canned foods so that on a day-to-day, week-to-week basis, you can still provide meals for your family, no matter what the future holds. If you enjoyed my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it. Learn more at alaskagranny.com and please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.